Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a binomial test using Python, specifically I'm using JupyterLab and Python 3. My website is available for free and my YouTube channel as well. Um, the binomial test is um, theoretically used to check how likely it is to have k successes out of n trials with the chance of success for each trial uh, given to be something. Now we can use this if, for example, we ask people uh, which brand they prefer, brand A or brand B, and then if we assume that it's going to be 50-50, then we can use as that uh, suc uh, chance of success being uh, 0 0.5, and then we can simply check if the two percentages might actually be uh, different from that. So that it's um, not likely to be in the population 50-50. Um, there's a scary looking formula for that, and but don't worry, we don't need to know that formula if we're using Python. And um, uh, as you can see, we can actually use some libraries and it will make our life easy. Here's the quick code. Uh, I will be going over this in slightly more detail in the example, but just to show you, the result will be a number. Um, and if we wait a little while, it's 0 0.0016, in this case that's less than 0 0.05, so usually in this case they would say that the two percentages are significantly different from each other. Now, um, to go over this in slightly more details, I first need to get some data, so I'll be using pandas uh, for that, and then I'll use the read CSV to actually get the so-called data frame, and I only need one variable here, and it needs to be a dichotomous. I'm not sure how to pronounce this, uh, I'm not a native English speaker, uh, but I'll usually use the term binary for that, uh, which means that there are only two options, and in this case with gender, they, uh, there were only two options, male and female. So I can actually select that by using value counts, I can see how many there were of each, in this case, 34 males and 12 females. Um, it uh, returns a dictionary, actually it returns a panda series, which works quite similar to a dictionary. Um, we want to sum these up, so in this case that should be, uh, well we can do it mentally, 34 plus 12 is 46, uh, but we can use the sum function, and indeed that's 46. Now, um, I'll simply pick the first one as my x. Uh, I could have chosen the 34 or the 12, but I can use uh, my um, custom dictionary or my uh, my uh, my values, and then pick the zero because it counts from starting from zero, one, two, three, etc. So my x is going to be 34. Then uh, Skippy Stats has a nice binomial test. So I'll load that in. So if you don't, if you have not installed Skippy Stats, then you probably have to use pip install uh, to do this. It shouldn't be too hard. You can look at um, via quick Google search on how to install it, and then we can finally run the test. We give it the number of successes, the number of trials. I already mentioned it's going to be 50/50, and I'll always like to use a two-sided test. So in this case, that results in 0 0.0016, which means that there's a 0.16%, so less than 1% chance of getting 34 successes out of 46, if in the population it would have been 50-50. So uh, this is considered very low, usually low is considered below 5%, so below 0.05, so that means that we reject that assumption that it was 50-50, so that means that these uh, two proportions are significantly different from each other. You usually follow this up with some kind of effect size. Cohen's G is an example of that. Uh, I have a separate video on that. And um, the stats model library actually also has a binomial test, uh, but that actually uses the Skippy version, so I didn't bother to show it here. I have a separate video on this if you really want to avoid using any packages and there I'll go over and explain how you can build up the entire function actually yourself. Okay, I hope this was helpful.